Morning guys, out here turning the lights on this morning. Old truck's doing great. We had a snow come through this week. I didn't uh, record any of it, y'all have seen that before. Uh, but I took uh, Friday off and uh, and enjoyed it. Got out there with my little boy on his new little Jeep that we bought back there in the summer. He loved it, out there riding around. But, uh, but we still got a lot going on here. We got to... Uh, all these chain slings here we got a repair and uh and we got a we got a few spreaders there we got we're building uh you know old chuck he's always building spreaders Let's see what we got over here going on and we got more more we got to do there what's in this old crate Oh, we got more in there we got to do. And we got a bunch of them things to do. Got some round slings to do. Uh, these are CR 11 by 12s. Brown round slings. Been making these things. These look pretty good. We're making some stock slings. My new man I got, he's a... Y'all can see right up there, we're starting to build up our stock slings and that's a good thing that really helps these customers that walk in we'll get them shelves packed with them slings and then we'll start making uh, uh some web slings and get our other shelves uh built up because i've been bringing been bringing i might have told y'all before these slings all over here behind this forklift um i've been bringing them in from uh guy up in pennsylvania uh just to keep them shelves stocked for my customers we just haven't had time to make stock because as y'all know i'm always uh trying to fill orders you know special slings whatnot got some customers that won't take them they'll only take mine hey that's good tells me my slings are dang good right um what else we got going on i'm thinking about changing to uh this brand of shackles uh, just uh they're just a better shackle i mean they're not made in the usa they're made in holland but <laughs> man they just the best shackle out there uh, by far i mean they've uh, they've surpassed crosby they've surpassed campbell they, they've surpassed everybody and they just they're good shackles and you can get them I mean, they're just perfect shackles. Um, so, what else we got here? Yeah, I'm turning lights on. Yeah, you know how it goes. Uh, I ain't got much going on up here. We got these uh, these cables right here. Um, we make these all the time for. Uh, for uh, easy scaffolding um they make this uh climbing scaffolding system like these uh block layers use and things like that it's called easy distrib easy distribution i think or distributing but it's easy scaffolding easy scaffolding y'all check them out if y'all in the uh, construction end of it uh they do some impressive stuff and we've been making a lot of their stuff on for several years now right here let me turn this light on where you can see right here these are uh 50 pound split balls your cable goes through their bolt and uh and, and they use them on them cables to uh this material hoist cables i guess they pull their mud up with those cables a little dab it out on them i think and uh um it's a really neat deal they got so check them out easy distribution or easy scaffolding or distributing heck i can't even remember i just call them easy scaffolding so uh, they're good people and no this is not a paid promotion for them I, there's people that i like people that i know make good equipment things like that i'll tell you i ain't getting paid for it well 
I guess I am in a kind of roundabout way. They are buying my cables and stuff, but uh, but no, that's not. They just good people, good equipment. So, shout out to those guys. Anyway, guys, it's damn cold out here this morning. It's four degrees. Mm. Snow just today. We only got about half an inch, but still, it's cold. I hope that shop's warm. Anyway, the old truck gonna hang in there though. Yep, yeah, buddy. I tell you what, it's real nice getting in the truck. It's got heated seats that's working and a heated steering wheel. I could live in this truck. If it just had a cooler for beer in it, but you can get them, I'd just be, I'd be perfect all the time. As long as I didn't drive nowhere. Look at Chuck out there. He looks cold, do Can you see him? He looks cold. Look at him. <laughs> he, he bundled up this morning. Look, look at him. He hurry. He all hunkered down too. Got a jacket on. He's bent over tight. <laughs> you know it's cold when I break out the car. <laughs> Steven got those done. Well, I guess Steven did a little something this weekend. Probably not a whole lot, but he got something done. Y'all need any two and a half inch shackles? Them some big old shackles, ain't they? Look at that size. And I got big hands. <laughs> Yep, and some Van B screen pin shackles. Like I said, best on the market. Don't get no better. Got a load of uh, tie down straps in there. Sometimes we make our own tie down straps. But you got to sell the dang thing so cheap, and there's so much labor involved in these. And I don't have automatic cutters and and uh, automatic you know pattern stitch machines and all that so it ain't worth my time to make those tie down straps but we will and we're very capable we'll make a very good one and i got some people that will only take my tie down strap got a drum of binder chain in this is the uh grade 70 chain used for uh tying down loads and uh this right here is quarter inch seven by 19 galvanized wire and that's some uh three eighths and then that's uh five eighths 625 general purpose wire there uh that's all import i don't keep much import around here but when you get into the seven by 19 galvanizes pretty much all import um and then that five eighths import wire we got a few customers that that want the cheapest thing they can get and i still buy the premium import i don't but i don't buy the junk so but yeah as i've said before most of the stuff we have in this building is domestic so so i uh as far as wire rope goes and, and my webbings my web slings and my round slings are all domestic and i use a um, chain out of austria uh for my chain slings which we got some right here So yeah, we uh, still rocking and rolling here. Uh, got to get this stuff on out the door, that's for sure. We got, we didn't get quite caught up, but we got a lot more caught up. That makes sense. And uh, got some pretty decent help. They still learning. Some people take longer than others to learn, but they learning. So, and that's good. So look at these chains. brought them in to get them repaired <laughs> look at that uh, look at that man i mean you guys are rough look at that uh,
oh that light's bright and they knew it when they brought it in that it uh they were gonna be scrapped i just looked at it i said yeah they scrap so we're gonna build them some new ones what those guys do there is they got these big i don't know steel pans and they take them to these construction sites where they're dealing with a lot of concrete and uh i guess they dump the uh whatever's left over concrete in them pans and they do something with it it's an environmental thing that they handle it somehow i don't know what they do with it i think he told me one time but forgot well steven been doing some testing he's got all this tested told him to get them bundled up on the shelf yesterday it didn't happen mm -mm -mm. these kids these days i tell you Boss man says he needs something done at his own company. You might want to do it. But I'm not going to be that guy. I'm not going to be that asshole that's going <laughs> to fire somebody over not putting them on the shelf. That'd be stupid. I ain't that way. Old Steve is a pretty good old boy. Old Chuck, he getting closer to getting these uh, spreaders done. Hadn't been able to stay on them. My new guy over here, he keeps having to <laughs> fix his mistakes. <laughs> that you're going to get that out of a new guy. That's some stuff that shouldn't be happening, but uh, it does. Heck, we all mess up. <laughs> he come along pretty good, though. He's, he's helped us get caught up. Pouring a little concrete next door this morning. They moving along on that building. Another morning, guys. Still got a lot going on. Look at all this stuff we got. We got slings everywhere. Yeah, old Coop, he's been helping out a lot getting these... Uh, standard slings made he ain't able to do them spreaders yet it takes a little bit of skill and a lot more training to do those properly and uh but yeah we got a lot still going on if i can just keep people showing up for work we're still having that problem you just never know from one day to the next but uh we got uh more round slings going on Steven, he's working on some more REs. We're always doing REs, and them things take forever. They shouldn't take as long as they do, but well, at least they're getting done. There's more of them to do. Got a whole bunch of uh, tie-down stuff for a customer. These tracks right here, they weld up under the beds of the truck. The sliding winches go on them. Uh, we we sell quite a few of them to that customer, but uh, but yeah, man, everything's been going all right. I've been getting out of here early every day. I told my wife, uh, I said I'll go get Luke. And I said because uh, she has a lot of stuff to do with taxes and year end and everything goes on, and she was having to leave every day at one thirty to go get Luke. And I said, hey, I don't mind going and getting them since I don't take vacation. I said, I'll get out of here at 1.30 and go pick Luke up and head on to the house. And then I go home. Sometimes if I need to, I work at the house. If a customer calls, I can take care of them there. So, yeah, I'm still working. But, uh, but yes, yeah, it's, it's nice getting out of here earlier now. So, and then, I don't know if I told y'all, but I'm going to take a, I'm going to close down the week of June 9th, I think is what it is going to Panama City, Florida, taking my boy down there. He ain't never seen the ocean or the beach. We're going to take a week's vacation. First one I've had in 14-something years, I guess, maybe 15. I don't know. I done lost count now, but uh, yeah, it's time. So going to enjoy that. I'll probably shave this all off. I might do that this weekend. I don't know. <laughs> but uh, getting ready for Florida. I got to get a little tan under here so I don't look like a ghost. But, uh, yeah, get some more stuff later. Well, Chuck, what we got going on here? 
You don't know, do you? Not yet. We're fixing to find out. How y'all like this chain? I ain't never seen nothing like that before, have you? Oh, looky here. I forgot I had my beard shaved off. <laughs> kind of scared me when I look in the camera. I turned around. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, we'll be showing you this. A little bit of it while we're building it. The finished product and everything else. So, Chuck going to take a break now. So, we'll come back with this a little later. So, what we got is a special connecting rope. Right. See that flat right in there? That fits this right here perfectly and doesn't let it do this. That stuff spreads apart. You don't want that. You want it to stay just like that for strength. And that's why those are made that way. So this will hook up here. This will be a two leg. Come down here. This will hook on here. This will hook up in here. And this will be at the bottom and we'll have chain two foot of chain in the middle. You got that? So, we'll show you the end results when we're done. And the cut this stuff is it's not easy to cut. We gotta use cable cutters to cut it. So it's tough. And I think we struggle a little bit when we use cable cutters. So, there you go. Pretty strong stuff, pretty neat, ain't it? Do it one of them in the floor. Pull it down this way. It ain't easy to cut. I'd go down on the floor with it. Take that one. And go down there. Now this stuff ain't easy to cut. Pretty stout, ain't it? I'll go ahead and cut the other side and then finish it off with the Either, uh, probably those uh, little C6s might finish it off. Or C4s, whatever those things are. All right. Now I'll pull it back up here on the table. All right, and then. Yeah. Or, them big scissors over there could do it too if they want. You might slide in between the blades. Tough stuff, ain't it? Yeah, buddy. There's the finished product right there. How you like that? Chuck, you made it through it, didn't you? Yes, sir. One to go. One down, one, one to go. go.